From the moment you woke up this morning, there were many things you needed to do. You may have been thirsty and taken a drink. Or perhaps you were hungry and ate breakfast. Maybe you were cold and put on warmer clothes. These are all common activities that humans need to do throughout the course of a day. Most other living things, including plants and animals, also have needs they have to fulfill on a regular basis to survive. During the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at some of the fascinating characteristics and needs of living things. There are over 10 million different kinds of living things on Earth that we know of. Living things come in a wide range of shapes, sizes, and colors. All living organisms have certain basic characteristics. First, living things are made up of one or more cells. This amoeba is made up of a single cell. Whereas our bodies are made up of billions of cells. Cells are the basic building blocks of life. Another characteristic of most living things is movement. This gear moves at a remarkable speed. If you think of different kinds of animals, think of all the different ways they move. Plants don't move the same way that animals do, but certain plant parts do move over time. So, in a way, plants are capable of movement. Living things also grow and develop. For example, you were once a small baby, but you've grown. Most living things grow throughout their lives, and in some cases, change form dramatically. In order to carry out their lives, living things need to perform a wide variety of complex activities. Some of these activities involve chemical reactions. Complex chemical reactions enable living things to grow, store energy, and repair damaged cells. Metabolism is the term used to collectively describe the many chemical reactions going on in living things. Metabolism is another characteristic of living organisms. You decide. Why do some animals migrate seasonally? Most animals migrate to find more suitable habitat to make it easier for them to survive. This is an example of animals reacting to changes in their environment. Generally speaking, living things are capable of reacting to changes in their environment referred to as stimuli. The final characteristic or need of living things we'll address is the ability to reproduce. Reproduction is the process by which living things give life to the same type of living thing. Without reproduction, living things would become extinct, unable to continue their existence. In order for living things to survive, they must fulfill certain needs. One of the most important needs is space or a place to live. Habitat refers to the place where an organism lives. Some living things, such as microorganisms, need a very tiny space, whereas other animals, such as bears, need a very large area to roam. Quite often, living space and the important resources it contains are in short supply. Living things often compete with each other for space and other resources. When humans use living space for agriculture and buildings, it becomes difficult and sometimes impossible for animals to survive there.
As we mentioned earlier, living things need food to carry out body processes. Plants use energy from the sun to make food. Animals eat plants or other animals for food. Food gives animals the energy they need to survive. You observe. What are these cows eating for energy? These cows are eating grass for their energy. Animals possess specific characteristics to help them locate and eat food. This marine iguana's body, for example, is designed to swim in the ocean where it eats algae. And the neck of this giraffe allows it to eat the leaves of very tall trees. Water is also critical to living things. Without water, living things couldn't exist. Living things either live in water or they need to consume it to survive. Just think about how often you consume water or things containing water every day. How long can you hold your breath? After just a few seconds, you'll probably begin to want to gasp for air. Many living things must take in air to survive. Animals such as birds and mammals need oxygen, an important gas which is found in air. Even animals that live in water, such as fish, take in oxygen through their gills. Oxygen is used used by animals for a wide variety of body processes. Other living things, like plants, take in a different gas which is found in air, called carbon dioxide. Many animals breathe out carbon dioxide, which plants take in. This is Death Valley, one of the hottest, driest places in North America. This bird, called a roadrunner, thrives in this desert environment. You decide. Why couldn't the roadrunner live here in the northeastern United States? One reason is that the temperature in the Northeast in winter is too cold for the roadrunner to survive. However, animals such as deer are able to survive here in the cold temperatures. This deer can maintain a constant body temperature even in frigid conditions. Homeostasis is the ability of a living thing to keep conditions inside its body the same even though conditions in the environment may change. During the past few minutes, we've discussed some of the characteristics of living things, as well as the different needs of living things. We saw that living things are made up of one or more cells. Most living things also move or have certain parts that move. We discussed the fact that organisms grow and often change throughout the course of their lives. Living things also carry out a wide variety of complex reactions that we broadly refer to as metabolism. Most living things are capable of reacting to stimuli in their environment, and the importance of reproduction for the continued existence of living things was stressed. In order for living things to survive, they must fulfill certain needs. Living space, also referred to as habitat, is one such need. The need for food and water is common to all organisms. Depending on the type of organism, different gases are consumed from the air to carry out certain functions. Living things also require the proper temperature in order to survive. 
لذلك المرات القادمة عندما تراقب الحيوانات والنباتات حول منزلك فكر ببعض خصائصها واحتياجاتها and needs. You might just think about life on Earth a little differently. Fill in the correct word to complete the sentence. Good luck, and let's get started. Number one, living things are made up of one or more. Number two, in order to survive, living things must fulfill certain Number three, refers to the place where an organism lives. Number four, animals get energy by eating. Number five, and number five is a gas used by animals for many body processes.